Hello friends, welcome to the shed. I am Chevy. How are you doing today? I hope all is well with you. I hope you had a excellent New Year's Eve and a good start to 2017. I've had back pain. Like extremely, extremely bad back pain. Started on Friday and here we are. So, hmm. Yeah, I don't care. What I want to talk about today is coming back to life after a time off. A few years ago, I was camping with the family, and it was a particularly stressful time because I was taking uh, college classes at the same time. I think it was. I don't remember the specifics, but I know that I had a particularly stressful trip that year. And I wrote a blog post, which I will link in the description um, if, if you want to read it. No. No, it's not available anymore. Never mind. I think I took that down. I'll try. I'll see, it, it might be down there. I think I took that blog post down. I don't remember. But anyway, the point is, I wrote this blog post about how my normal day-to-day -day life is less stressful than vacation. Uh, and that's simply because Jamie's amazing. So I don't have to deal with the girls in the morning or... Uh, and they're not here when I get home, so I go to work before the girls wake up. Uh, Jamie gets them up, gets them ready to go to school. I don't have to deal with that. Um, I get home before the girls get home because, you know, I work for the Board of Education and my job lets out before my oldest school lets out. And so I get home before they get home. Um, my day job is a very relaxing job. I'm not stressed out uh, mentally or physically at my day job. So my normal everyday to day life is actually really relaxing. Uh, it's very, uh, it's good. I, you know, I don't like staying home. Let me put it that way. I don't like staying home from work because work is so much, is so therapeutic for me. So, um, so I was at this camping trip and their camping is like, you know, cooking and cleaning constantly to keep the bugs away and uh, dealing with rain and, and mattresses deflating and all this other it's like this constant churn of work to be done and it's like man I'm not I'm supposed to be relaxing and reading books and enjoying myself and instead I'm stressed out and so I ended up writing this blog post about that and uh, Today we came back from the in-laws if you watched this video um, the the family tradition is that we stay at my in-laws house uh, for the whole week between Christmas and New Year's uh, I don't know if I told you in that video, but my in-laws live like five miles from here. It's not like we travel. We, they're right across town. <laughs> but we do it anyway. Um, the whole family. Her um, my brother and sister-in-law, ne my nephews, my kids. We had friends stay over. One of Keeley's friends came and stayed a couple nights. One of my nephew's friends came and stayed a couple nights. We played, um, I don't know, 75 hours of Minecraft on my, f you know, I had it running on my phone and we all joined in and played a server and we played games and um, Wii U and uh, Splatoon and all that sort of stuff. And we just kind of hang out. <sighs> and we stay up too late every night. Uh, I think last night I tried to go to bed at a normal hour because the hard part, and the, this is what I want to talk about, is how do we... How do we come back from that? An extended vacation, like when I was a when I was a kid, and I we had the summers off. Um, going back to school, I don't really remember it being difficult, but my parents are also pretty strict, and so they wouldn't let us stay up until two in the morning just because it's summer. They made us go to bed at a semi-normal time. We might have got to stay up like an hour later or something like that. Whereas me and Jamie are, I don't want to say we're free range parents because we're not, but we are very liberal uh, parents. And so I let the girls uh, stay up however late they want and we stay up with them and we play and party and have a good time because, you know, Jamie and I are their kids also. We, we, we just, we're kids. So we stayed up way too late and got up late, you know, 10 o'clock every day or something. And now tomorrow I have to get up at six and go to work. And in there, maybe there's some tricks for this. And I, like I said, the one trick that I employed was I tried to go to bed like before midnight last night so that I could get my rhythm back. Cause after, I mean, it was uh, 11 days or 12 days of vacation for me. Um, 
And that's not an easy thing to recover from <laughs> once you've gotten yourself into that mode. So I'd love to know if you have any tips and tricks on how to recover from an extended vacation like that. We'll call that part one of this video. Part two of this video I want to talk about is New Year's resolutions. Today is the second-ish. Yep, it's the second. And uh, people make New Year's resolutions. And then typically it's, I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to clean, I'm going to purge my junk, I'm going to, uh, I don't know, better myself or stop drinking soda or whatever the heck it might be. I would love to hear what your new you uh -huh. I would love to hear what your new year God sh dog it. I would love to know what your New Year's resolutions are in the comments down below. I see this as like a normal thing that people do. I've never really done it. I've never really said I'm going to do X this year. I usually try to challenge myself on a week by week basis partially because of my depression and I have to constantly engage myself uh, in some sort of like self-awareness task so that I can stay on top of it. Um, but also partially because I'm, I'm flaky. And if I say today that, uh, you know, it's January 2nd and from this point forward, I'm going to start doing whatever by like February, I've already forgotten that I said that. Right. So, I would love to know if you have New Year's re resolutions, if you make them, or if you even have success stories about New Year's resolutions uh, from your past. Um, yeah, because I, I think that it's a it's a thing that people always joke about. I saw a ton of jokes this weekend about, you know, gym owners getting excited for the new year because all these people got their new gym memberships that they use for a week. Um, and, you know, I, I said it's a joke, but it's actually kind of true, you know. But... Um, yeah, are there any New Year's resolutions you've stuck with? For me, my number one New Year's resolution this year is just going to be work harder. Um, I work hard at, uh, at pretty much everything that I try to do, but I, I, there's always something left over at the end. And part of that was the gaming channel that I started. I like to play games. And so if I can uh, turn game time into work time... Um, then maybe that'll maybe that'll help me uh, work harder. So yeah, that's that's my number one goal this year: work harder, be better, be more awesome, uh, be more friendly. That's it. That's all I got. Love to hear what you have uh, in the comments down below. Thank you guys for being here. As always, I'm super excited to start off the new year with you on this channel. I hopefully we grew um, almost doubled my subscriber count last year. Almost half of half again my subscriber count last year so i would love to see that again this year um yeah i'm gonna set a goal for say twenty thousand subscribers by the end of the year that'd be pretty amazing I'd, I'd really uh really like that so thank you for being here thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and commenting and emailing me and calling in and saying silly things and engaging with me on twitter it really does mean the world to me. So thank you. I will see you tomorrow with a normalish topic. Hey, Doc, wait! I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from Wikipedia, of course. When was Mountain Dew invented? Mountain Dew, currently stylized as Mountain MTN Dew, in the United States, is a carbonated soft drink brand produced and owned by PepsiCo. The original formula was invented in 1940 by Tennessee beverage bottlers Barney and Allie Hartman. A revised formula was created by Bill Bridgeforth in 1958.